Hello everyone in this video i like to share about my final interview experience which has happened in revancher so if someone have already seen my previous video i said my interview was on june 17th so after that i immediately shared my experience in my telegram channel if anyone want you can also join so here let me explain what are the questions you are going to expect in this final interview so for me it is the domain sql sdlc git python hadoop sharp and uh, cloud computing so this domain will uh, varies for everyone who is going through the revancher pre training program so someone will get java which includes jdbc and uh, some other uh, a uh, frameworks in java but let me explain what are the question i have faced in uh, interview so the link of this technical session will be shared through your mail first uh, when i joined the uh, interview they start asking about the project uh, so i have uh, shown the codes in what i have done in the project uh, and they ask me to explain about the project like they will uh, ask you something like what the data cleaning you have did in this project uh, i showed uh, the codes where i have did the data cleaning so the project which is named as uh, call logging centers uh, so for python people this is the project uh, you will get maybe there is a possibilities of vary to uh, every branches so let me go to the next question the second question was what is python and what is java so who doesn't know about java they should know the general knowledge about java i explained that uh, python is a dynamically typed language but when coming to the java it does not so immediately they ask me questions what is dynamically type language so you can screenshot this questions and you can prepare by yourself or else if you want separate videos like how to prepare for each interview and how we should give the real time example and explain to them next coming to the third question which is interpreter versus compiler so this is a a basic questions that uh, every uh, programmer will face in this interview you should explain what is interpreter and which is the language which use the interpreter and what are the language that uses the compiler this is how you should explain to them next coming to the fourth question what is method overloading and uh, versus the method overriding i got little bit confused here i explained uh, a uh, method overloading uh, explanation with method overloading and they instructed me it is wrong and uh, they even select me after that you can do little bit of mistake in interview there there are some companies which is also consider that so no issues uh, we people definitely do mistake so you should prepare well in this kind of definitions don't do the mistake whatever i have did next coming to the fifth question they asked me about the abstraction i explained with the uh, real time example like when you are coming to the bank uh, they will hide the internal process only showcase the uh, external process this is the uh, explanation of abstraction and they said me to write a code i write the code in the online compiler and uh, explained to me and they, next uh, they asked me questions regarding lambda functions so if someone already knows uh, you can remember this with uh, so lambda means which is an uh, anonymous functions and they asked me to write code for that uh, you should know the syntax of lambda functions uh, then only you can write code so after let me move to the sixth question so next question is which is union versus the union all uh, they didn't ask any query to write uh, for sql they just ask me only one questions uh, which is union versus union all uh, so you should see the definitions and what is difference between union and union all for coming to the union it will return duplicates when coming to the union all it does not uh, returns the duplicates that is the main difference let me go to the next question next the next question is what is an hadoop so my domain covers uh, python hadoop spark uh, more related to uh, data uh, and data engineering so i explain about the hadoop and its when it is uh, 
launched and who it is launched by and what are the components like uh, Hadoop have components like yarn map reduce uh, uh, and other two components are there you have to refer that also so i have explained the components on, uh, of adobe so suddenly they ask me because i have uh, included the map reduce as the component of adobe they ask me what is map reduce you have to explain the map reduce process in the adobe so when you are going to the interview if you say any sentence of any word explanation you should know about the each and every word you are talking about because only you what are the way you are answering the questions you have to uh, get the questions regarding that for example in previous itself i've said in python i said dynamically dynamically typed language they ask me what is dynamically typed language if you are reading any definitions you have to know the word what are the meaning about the word so that then only you can uh, at least handle the interview and you have to clear the interview means you have to see all the topics thoroughly next coming to the ninth question which is an apache spark my syllabus include about the spark so at least i should know about the definitions about the spark i explain what is a spark and what it will do and uh, then they move to the next question what is rdd rdd stands for the recycle and distributed data set and uh, i explain about what is the functions of rdd so everyone will have this question is ribbon sir is good or bad so let me tell my my opinions uh, in ribbon sir so at first i know i didn't have any idea about ribbon sir so i don't know whether what are they doing to do but let me explain what it is first there will be an hr interview next after uh, some get training for uh, week 9s uh, and some will get uh, 14 weeks of training it will uh, differ for each batches so uh, they will refer for the client assessment for example in my batch they told me about tech mahindra will be uh, your client assessment uh, will be given to you and i have seen 40 people in my previous batch have got selected for persistent systems so i think you should consider this if you don't have any offers in your hand then you should definitely go for revancher because it is not any cost actually first you will get an online training and they will qualify you for the final interview if you rejected in the final interview you cannot go for the further steps in future so you should be very careful in each assessment you are going to give in the revancha every assessment is a rejection round so it is really hard to crack but once you did it is really useful i have seen some reviews too like uh, in uh, 2021 to 2022 some people got uh, selected through revancher in infosys and uh, if you didn't get selected in the off offline training they will take you as a employee in their companies or else you have to pay some kind of amount uh, to them when you are going back because revancher is all about bond so these are the things i have to discuss if someone need the proof about proof of uh, 40 people's got selected in persistent system i have shared in my uh, telegram channels uh, the photo of people who are get who have got uh, selected in that uh, company so you can also view that so after this many people have uh, doubts regarding hr booking slot so you have to know one thing if it is thursday or friday there will be no slot in revancher hr booking because in weekend they didn't uh, release any kind of slot to any people so you have to try on sunday night for booking the hr interview or try on monday night if you book lately also there will be no problem some some any of the batch will be given to you so that's all i need to discuss and you can attend the training uh, at any time uh, when you are free so only you have to complete the assessment within the allocated time they will give you time for at least one week to complete some certain kind of assessment which is mandatory to 
evaluate you that's all i like to talk about if you have any ra- doubts regarding this revancher uh, comment down or join the telegram channel i will definitely answer all your questions thank you that's all for this video